How's it going guys? In this video, we're going to be running a few benchmark tests on the new Samsung Galaxy S21. Now this is the US version, which has a Snapdragon 888 processor, and it's got 8 gigs of RAM and 128 gigabytes of storage. So before I begin, while the phone is in idle, I'm going to check the temperature on the back of the phone. It's about 26.4 Celsius, and it's about 26.6 .6 on the front. Now the first test I'm going to run with is with Antutu, and the current temperature of the processor is at 28 degrees Celsius. Aside from this, there are no apps running in the background, and I'm ready to begin the test. Alright, so here are the results after the test is done. We're going to take a quick temperature check. It's at about 40.7, 41. So the CPU scored 182,265. The GPU scored 296,425. Memory is at 108,500. And the user experience is 89,243. The back is at 36.3 degrees Celsius. When we started the test, the battery was at 100% and it's currently at 93%. So I lost 7% battery while running the test. The next benchmark test we're going to be running is Geekbench 5. We're going to start the CPU benchmark now. So here are the results of the test. We got 911 on the single core and 3139 on multi-core score. The phone dropped from 92% battery to 91%. After the test, the phone's at 39 degrees Celsius. Now let's run the GPU benchmark. And here's the results, it scored 4591, and it went from 91% battery to 90% battery. Let's take a quick temperature test, it's at about 38.4, it's at about 39.2 degrees Celsius. Now the final benchmark we're going to run is 3D Mark. So the overall score was 5,510. Let's take a quick temperature test. It's at about 45 degrees Celsius. So it had about 33 average frames per second. The frame rate went between 16 frames per second to 43 frames per second, and it only used about 1% battery. Now let's go ahead and run the stress test.
All right, so at the end of the test, we're at about 45, well, about 46 degrees Celsius. So the best loop score was at 5,528. Lowest loop score is at 3,465. Stability is at 62.7%. And here the scores for the loops. You got loop one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, all the way through 20. So basically it runs the same test over and over again to see how long it fares throughout the whole process. So in the beginning, it was doing much better, obviously, on the first loop compared to the rest of them after that. As far as frame rates go, it went between 15 frames per second to 41 frames per second. And the last test we're going to run is the Slingshot Extreme. So once the test is done, the temperature is at about 46 degrees Celsius and it scored 6,137. And as far as frame rate went, it went between 12 frames per second to 86 frames per second. And the temperature went from 39 degrees Celsius to 42 degrees Celsius for the processor. So after running all these tests, the phone battery is at 76% and we started with 100%. So it's not too bad. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and click on the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. Thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you guys next time.